Hey everyone, this is Sir Anaba. Uh, it's been a while, so welcome to my newest video. Um, today we're doing a, um, a first impression of the new uh, Nike Kyrie 6. Um, this colorway <clears throat> uh, just recently came out um, November 12th. It was like, a, I'm sorry, November 11th um, in conjunction with um, Kyrie's uh, jersey number and his um, love for the symbolism of 1111. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into it. So here's the uh, the box uh, that it came in. Um, really cool graphics on the box. Uh, There's your traditional um, paper box. Nothing too special here. Um, so the shoe um, looks very similar to the uh, Kyrie 5. And um, honestly, it doesn't really look that much different from the Kyrie 5, except for the obvious detailings of the um, of the strap here and also um, the uh, the back panel and also the uh, the back panel of the shoe right here so you kind of see the traction that they have here it has the um, has a similar traction as the Kyrie 5 um, with the all C and I um, I did uh, uh, try it on and kind of play with it a little bit on the basketball court already and the traction seems pretty um, pretty good um, the court was kind of dusty but these, uh, these deep grooves here uh, really did a solid job so far. So this is, this is not a, a performance review, but I just wanted to give you like my first thoughts of it when I was um, trying it on. Uh, you can kind of see all these deep grooves they have along, along the shoe here. And then they, all, they also come up on the uh, medial side as well. And then you also have this, uh, this portion right here. It's like this nubby, rubbery section of the of the midsole that kind of wraps up on the medial side here. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of it is, but um, it's totally, uh, it looks like it might reinforce the toe box um, going forward. And then you can kind of take a look at the, the uppers. The upper is like this fabric type of jacquard type of weave. I'm not a, aesthetically, I'm not a really big fan of like the, of the design. This kind of looks like it's like two-toned type of fabric, which is not really a big, um, I'm not really a big fan of the design, essentially. Um, they have some wording on the on the front of the, of the shoe. I, I can't really say, see what it says. I can't read that, maybe you guys can make it out. Or if you guys know what it says, uh, please uh, leave, a, leave a comment below the video. And then you have these two um, eyelets. Um, they replaced the um, the fly wire um, with these two um, fabric straps. Um, they're supposed to reinforce lockdown in the forefoot. Um, so we'll see how they how how it performs on the court on this portion. Um, one of the obvious differences between the Kyrie Five and the Six is they um, got rid of the the fly trap that was on the Kyrie Five, and they replaced it with this. Um, translucent type of uh, rubber forefoot straps, forefoot strap to provide additional lockdown. Honestly, um, you don't really need this type of strap for additional lockdown. Uh, I kind of like the, the fly trap one because it, it was already, it, had, it felt really good on this lockdown. And the, things about, the thing about, like, um, about straps, they really don't make much of a difference because they lock this portion down, but they used to have this portion and also this portion. And the laces already do a good job with it. So underneath the strap, um, you have uh, this section of hyperfuse um, on the backing right here. And then you have the felt uh, for the strap. And then um, on the top of the shoe, you have like this, um, this plastic type of, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, but it has like a hologram. So you have the all seeing eye, the Nike logo, and then you also have, it seems like a, I would say a, a, a garden type of picture. Let's try to zoom in for you right there. And then on top is the, you have the tongue. The tongue is like a, like a neoprene type of a tongue. It looks, it feels very comfortable uh, when I put it on. So I'm looking forward to that when I when I play. And then it's connected um, on the inside of the tongue. So it almost feels like a booty on the inside because um, 
the way the tongue is connected to the um, mid part of the shoe, it feels like a like a shroud when you put your foot inside it as well. And then you also have additional padding um, on the back of the shoe, who helps it with your Achilles. And then you have this external um, heel counter. Uh, it's like a really soft rubber. Um, um, you have the um, the ha the hand that he, that he has that that tattoo hand that he has on the on his um, on his arm. I also want to talk about the the technology. Um, you do have the um, the Zoom Turbo in the forefoot. Um, according to the designer, um, they they lowered it. They they lower the they reduce the midsole by five percent less, so you have a bit of a better court feel. Um, when I tried it on, you can definitely feel it has a better court feel than the Kyrie fives. So I was really excited about that. Um, in terms of the weight, this this does feel slightly heavier um, than the Kyrie five. So I was kind of disappointed in that. But overall. Um, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to testing this out on the shoe. I'm a little bit skeptical. Um, it really does look like the Kyrie 5. and kind of feels like the Kyrie 5. There's not really any additional technical enhancements between the Kyrie 5 and the Kyrie 6, but uh, I will reserve judgment until I fully play, play with them. Um, this um, uh, colorway is the, what's this called? unite the world um, uh, according to Kyrie Kyrie wants to unite the world um, not only on the court but off the court with his influences uh, with basketball and his other social program that he contributes his time off the court um, these retail for 140 for this colorway but the all black and the all black colorway comes out November 22nd um, for 130. So keep your eyes um, out for that. Um, if you have any questions, comment, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And I'll be testing these out in the upcoming weeks. And so stay tuned for a lookout uh, for that video. Anyways, um, thanks for taking a look at, the, uh, at this video. Um, and I'll catch you next time. All right, stay blessed.